Uh, let's go to the CME where we have uh, Paul Nolte, uh, Kingsview Asset Management Portfolio Manager. Uh, we're going to be talking about what's happening with the fourth quarter. Let's do that right now. Look, we're into the fourth quarter. Let's talk about oil prices mainly. What is the setup into the fourth quarter? How is the market positioned? I think the market is positioned for just generally gradually higher rates of energy. We've seen a nice increase in, uh, in energy prices since the uh, July, end of July, been a steady increase. We're seeing supplies come down just a little bit. Recounts are flat. Uh, the refinery capacity has dropped a little bit here too. So I think the supply issue is going to uh, allow prices to carry higher into the fourth quarter. Paul, are we going to get to 100? Are we going to get to 100 on Brent? Um, yes, but I'm, I'm not sure when. I, I think our initial target really is, is 90, and that's the bottom end of the range that we saw back in uh, 2014. Uh, we have a shot at 100, but I think that's probably about six months off or so. The rate of ascent is, is not that steep right now. How, in terms of the kind of the the out of the money stuff where are like, how far how far up are people positioning i if, if i think that all prices are going higher if, if i want to buy some out of the money calls on on energy assets kind of where is where is the market beginning to cluster i think really it's starting to cluster at the at the 90 area 90 to 100 we saw a ton of articles over the weekend in the press about a hundred dollar oil a lot of expectations are there. Uh, we're seeing some of the option pricing is, is at the $100 level as well, but it's well out uh, mid-year next year. So again, the, the expectation is that we get to 100. I think the disappointment might be that as, as we all know with energy prices, when they start going up, supply starts showing up. So that's why I said it's not gonna be a straight line to 100. It's gonna so this is pretty important because obviously if commodity prices are going to be going to increase and the dollar is going to be falling, uh, this is a good sign for cryptocurrency. As you can tell, we're uh, fortunately out of the 200 uh, billion and we're right now at 22, uh, 222. So uh, if this trend continues, crypto prices should slowly tick back up, but I don't see really a large flood to crypto assets um, unless there is a major recession, which I do believe is going to happen. But I think the Fed and quantitative easing, they're going to just kick it down and uh, probably delay it as much as they can, especially before these uh, elections that are coming up in the U.S. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.